Good evening, everybody. Pastor Joyce from Christ the Cornerstone Church here again for you and a message and prayer, of course, and some scripture reading. Not necessarily in all that order, but needless to say, I hope you had a good Monday. It's the beginning of the week, and we continue to just uh, keep you all in our thoughts and our prayers and uh, ask God's blessings upon all of you tonight. Um, I kind of had an interesting day. Uh, it rained the bulk of the day. It was kind of thunderstorms. We had that tropical storm uh, pass by us so, so far to the west, but needless to say, wind and rain today. Uh, we're continuing to pray for all those in the Dominican Republic, uh, all the in the uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, all the way over to, I guess, uh, the storms may hit uh, Louisiana or Texas. Uh, we certainly keep uh, everybody in our prayers and we continue to pray for so many things that are happening in our world today. So uh, before we get to the complete prayer part of our night, um, as I said, it was a little interesting. I had a little project today. Uh, last week, uh, I had to buy a different television. Mine uh, kind of had an accident and consequently I got myself a fire TV so I could use, uh, uh, you know, streaming and things of this nature. Uh, I watch a lot of uh, Murder, She Wrote, and Columbo, some of the old uh, Hallmark movies, things like that, that are on uh, Prime Video. So, of course, the Fire TV came in handy. And uh, so, I, that's all good and well. It's all set up, all that fun stuff. And we have some uh, Echo Dots in the house. So, we, uh, we, we were going to uh, utilize that, of course, because that's what the advertisement said on the box. So, it's like easy setup. All you have to do is just attach your remote to the uh, dot that you have in your house and you can voice all your commands to the television and search for things and all that fun stuff. Not so much fun after all. Uh, technology can work, uh, but boy, we have to work it. And I spent a good portion of the day, a mm, couple hours, I would have to say, honestly, uh, trying to figure out how to make the foolish thing work, uh, to get the uh, pairing done and the uh, remote to the TV and then to the uh, Echo Dot kind of thing so I could just easy peasy, relax, and just tell the television what to do. Uh, not so much. But needless to say, um, I kept, as I was trying to set it up, it, I was getting so frustrated, I couldn't do it. And so, of course, I go to Google, uh, look those things out. How do I pair my Echo Dot to my uh, Alexa remote? Uh, couldn't find anything. Well, it said how to do it, but that wasn't how it worked at all. And every time I asked Alexa inside the house, she would always say, go to your Alexa app, which I did about 20 million times, it seemed. Uh, eventually went to YouTube, looked at a couple of YouTube videos, things of this nature. I mean, I just kept going, um, trying to figure this thing out. And if you know anything about me, I'm a little on the persistent side, uh, maybe stubborn side might be the uh, different term some people would use, but I call it persistence. But the funny part is I kept telling Becky, uh, cause she kept saying, how long is it, was it gonna take initially? And I was like, oh, it shouldn't be you know, a few minutes. Should it be maybe half an hour at the max? Yeah, right. Two hours later, I still had nothing foolish things set up, but I kept going to her and saying, that's it. I'm not trying anymore. I, I can't do it. And then I go back and think about something else. Well, I try it one more time. And I looked at some other, uh, I went down to the Amazon uh, site, of course, and went to their customer service, if you want to call it that, and uh, looked up some blogs, all kinds of things. And every time I would get to a point where it wasn't still working, I would eventually just say, that's it, I'm done. I'm, I'm not doing it. I, I give up, I give up, I give up. I must have said that, I don't know, a zillion times, 70 times seven maybe. Uh, and Becky kept saying to me, that's what you keep saying. Just, you know, forget about it. It's not that important. I'm thinking that's true. I could obviously operate a remote control with, without having to talk to the television, right? But it was just frustrating the daylights out of me. Um, so thus my persistent personality. I will have to tell you though, after about two and a half hours, I found the right spot somewhere. I found it on the internet of some steps to take. And lo and behold, turns out you have to use the Bluetooth part of your television because evidently Amazon, the Alexa app, um, uh, dot rather, is a Bluetooth uh, speaker. Never understood that concept. So lo and behold, I was able to, yes, get those two paired up and when I talk to my television and say turn off Alexa turn off the TV or turn on uh, Netflix or whatever I say to it it actually works how about that so 
Point being, what's this all about? Why am I telling you all my sad story for the day or fun story, depending on how you look at it? There's something about persistence when it comes to prayer, because that's also the, the persistence I had of the not giving up, even though I kept saying I was giving up. I just couldn't bring myself to do that. I just had to solve that problem. Um, essentially, that's how we need to pray all the time. We don't just pray once, and if the answer doesn't come, we don't say, well, that's it, I give up. And Jesus speaks about that. That's where the scriptures come in handy here for us tonight. Uh, he, he was in Luke chapter 11. He had talked to the disciples about prayer and he taught them the Lord's prayer there. And then right after that in verse five, it says, then Jesus started teaching them more about prayer. He used this illustration. Suppose you want, went to a friend's house at midnight, wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You would say to them, a friend of mine has just arrived for a visit and I have nothing for him to eat. He would call out, that friend would call out from his bedroom, don't bother me, right? I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna knock on most friends' doors at midnight, but it's an illustration. The door is locked for the night and we are all in bed. Sounds about right. I can't help you this time. But I tell you this, though he won't do it as a friend, if you keep knocking long enough, he will get up and give you what you want. So not keep knocking, right? And I tell you, Jesus says this, keep on asking, you will be given what you ask for. Keep on looking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And the door is open to everyone who knocks. So the point is, what Jesus is saying here is, listen, we have to ask God is the one that's asleep. We think sometimes we're knocking on God's door in our prayer times and, and we're, we're seeking answers to things or we're wanting a decision from God, guidance, direction, whatever it might be. We want something important in our life that, that we've always prayed about and are just seeking God for that, that special someone, that special something, uh, whatever it might be, a problem that we have to solve, like getting your remote uh, able to be <laughs> synced up to your Alexa Echo Dot. I don't know what it is. That's minor compared to some of the things I know we're praying for. But needless to say, the point is the same. Jesus is telling us all that everyone, no matter who it is, everyone who knocks on God's door, God will answer. Yes, we have to be persistent sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's a question of not the fact that whether God is willing to help us, but more a fact of how much do we really rely on God? Are we going to only ask him once and then just give up as though God is never going to answer us again? Or when we're seeking something, do we just like throw our hands up and say, well, I can't really have peace of mind, or I really can't have the loving kind of relationship I want with another person, or I can't be forgiven. Whatever it is that you're seeking, that's not what the scriptures tell us. Jesus is saying, when you pray, keep on asking, keep on believing that God's going to open the door, right time, right way, and what we have to do, it's more about us more than anything, I think. It's not about God as far as God not wanting or holding back from us. It's us wanting something so much that we're willing to keep seeking it, keep looking for it, and we will keep finding it. And the relationship that we have with God is the relationship all of us need to keep seeking. Uh, and, and if you don't, don't always understand God, keep seeking in the Word of God. Keep asking other people about God uh, or, or the questions that you might have. Just keep knocking and, and God will answer those questions as well. So that's a, kind of the uh, short and long story about persistence, how important it is in all of our lives, in the things that we do, in the things we wanna change or have God change about us sometimes. Don't give up if you can't do something the first time, whatever it might be, or you can't change something. Keep asking God to help you. Um, I can tell you so many examples of people who have had addictions or problems or concerns, myself included, that didn't, that seemed to linger but I kept asking, they kept asking, God help me with this. 
and God did. And God had to put all the pieces of the puzzle together, send the right answer, and sometimes the right persons into our life to help those answers come to us, or the right circumstances to all get lined up. God knows what we don't know, but what we have to do is never give up on God. And so as we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic, we're going to keep asking. We're going to keep knocking. We're going to keep seeking God's wisdom, God's guidance, God's healing, and especially God's peace of heart and mind in the waiting time. And while we're in the waiting, we can keep seeking that relationship with God, which is by far the most important thing we could ever have throughout our entire life journey. Let us pray. God, we thank you that you are always there listening to us, that even before we speak the words, you are ready to answer us, God. And we know, God, that sometimes that answers take longer and they're more difficult or more complicated than we can even realize on our end of things. I know, God, all of us so often want something instantaneously and suddenly for it to happen. That impatience that all of us have God, it's more important, I, I suppose, to you and to us sometimes to have that persistence, to learn uh, perseverance, to learn to keep seeking, to learn that life without a struggle really just is no life at all because we never grow and change through that. We never, we never learn what we need to learn in the process, God, especially tenacity and determination, which are so vital in all of our lives for all the time, God. So I ask you, Lord, that as we come to you in prayer again tonight, I ask you once again to please send down your healing touch upon our world, upon the people of the world, upon the hearts and the souls of all the people, God, that are suffering and are hurting or are afraid or feel alone or are struggling, God, in any way, shape, or form, God. I ask for your strength to come upon them. And for all of those that are seeking you, God, and knocking on your door, I know that they can find you because we can seek you and you are always right there. We just have to open our eyes and see you right there and feel you in our presence. So I ask a blessing upon everyone that's watching this night. I pray God again for any disturbances that are happening in our world, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, weather-wise, or some of the unrest that's happening, God, uh, between people, Lord, I ask you, God, to send your love down upon us and as we pray to you god we're praying expecting you god to solve all of the problems we can't solve on our own we know to turn to you god for everything we need and so god we're going to keep on asking keep on knocking keep on seeking and we know god that you will truly answer all of our prayers in your time in your perfect will and in your perfect way in jesus name amen so God bless you, everyone. Have a blessed night. Uh, hang in there. Stand, stand firm. Uh, continue to be persistent in your prayers and in your belief and, and in your faith. Uh, God will take us through all the aspects of our life if we just keep on keeping on, and I know you will. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Remember, coming up this Saturday, uh, we're going to have a uh, virtual uh, revival, a variety uh, day. Uh, it's going to be a start at 9.30 in the morning, going to go about to 6 o'clock. And throughout the day, you'll be able to watch us live, various uh, musical artists and, and a comedian, uh, Pat Tastic, will be there. And a lot of our folks within our church will be providing music and praise and messages to continue to lift up your hearts and your souls. And then part of that, of course, is our fundraiser for the Dominican Republic. Uh, I know they were hit pretty hard today by uh, the storm that went by there, but we're also trusting that God's going to keep everyone safe there. And we want to continue to minister to them, especially in education. So we're going to help those teachers do so and help those children be fed as well. God bless you. We love you. Remember, keep seeking, keep asking, keep knocking. God will answer the door, I promise you. Good night. God bless.